this time I am going to make something much more general. I am going to apply a normal approximation to some of independent and identically distributed random variables. So the question here says that these random variables, 100 random variables we have here, x1 to x100. This is a sequence of independent and identically distributed standard uniform random variables. And we define their summation as y being equal to the sum of these random variables from 1 to 100. So all of these random variables are independent and identically distributed standard uniform random variables. Let me remind you the standard uniform random variable. A standard uniform random variable is continuously and uniformly distributed between 0 and 1. OK. And y is the sum of these standard uniform random variables. All of them. And question tells me find an approximate solution for the probability of 47, a probability of y to be between 47 and 53. So this interval probability for the sum. Now, I know the distribution of each of these random variables here from x1 to x100, but I do not know the distribution of y, right? Or do I know? Actually, because y here is the, in the summation of a sufficiently large number of independent and identically distributed random variables, actually the behavior of y should be normal. So I think y is normally distributed. It should have a normal distribution according to the central limit theorem. So if I want to answer this question, that probability statement is related to a normal random variable y, what I need to do is to determine the expected value of that y and the variance of that y. So I would know about the location and the scale parameters of this normal random variable. So what is the expected value of y? So before calculating the expected value of y and variance of y, let me tell you that each of these standard uniform random variables in the sequence from first one to the 100th one, all of them will have the expected value equal to 0 0.5. Remember, the expected value of a uniform random variable was alpha plus beta over 2, which is 0 0.5 in this case. And the variance of these uniform random variables will be 1 over 12, which is beta minus alpha to the power 2 divided by 12, if you remember. OK. And here it is 1 over 12. Now, I am interested in the expected value of y and variance of y, the sum of these 100 standard uniform random variables. The expected value of the sum of these 100 random variables from first to 101 is the sum of individual expectations, right? So you know this from the previous chapter, chapter 8. The expected value of the sums is equal to the sum of expectations. And because each respective expectation is 0 0.5, the expected value of y will be 50. And how about the variance? The variance of y will be the variance of the summation of these random variables, which will be equal to the summation of the variances here. Why? Because we know that these 100 random variables are independent from each other. Therefore, the covariance terms are omitted. They are ignored. Therefore, the sum of the variances will be 100 over 12. So I will say that the summation of these 100 standard uniform random variables is normally distributed with expected value 50 and variance equal to 112. Remember now, the scale parameter or the standard deviation is equal to the square root of the variance which is square root of 100 and over 12. And my objective is to calculate the probability of y to be between 47 and 53. OK, now. Do you see I am am I applying a 0 0.5 plus minus procedure here? You do not see it, right? So I have done this. I have done this. 0 0.5 plus minus 0 0.5 procedure here, and I have done this also here, but I am not doing this in this question. Why? I am not doing this in this question because, because my friends, why here? 
the random variable y here is the summation of uniform random variables. And these uniform random variables are already continuous. So the random variable is y here is continuous. We are not applying a normal approximation to a discrete random variable here. We are already applying this normal approximation to already a continuous random variable. So why should I think as if it is discrete? So the previous random variables, binomial and Poisson, were discrete. Therefore, for each integer value, I have applied this plus minus 0 0.5 procedure. But here, I am not going to apply it. Why? Because y is already continuous. And therefore, in order to calculate this interval probability, I am just directly going to apply the standardization procedure by subtracting the location parameter 50 from all sites and divide to the scale parameter, which is the square root of 100 over 12. And the middle will be a standard normal random variable. And here I am going to calculate the probability of Z to be between minus 1.0392 and plus 1.0392. Now that probability is equal to, after some small algebra about the standard normal distribution, and I'm not going to explain this once again because I have already explained this. That is going to be equal to two times the CDF at 1.0.392 minus one. And that CDF can be checked from the normal distribution table. And that is going to be the result. Ultimate result is going to be 0 0.7012. 